hello i hope you're okay welcome along to this video i thought i would film a vlog this week because i haven't done like a vlog over a couple of days in a while so i thought i would start it off here today is tuesday morning it's the 25th of may and it's about quarter past 10 in the morning the weather's rubbish it stopped raining but it's it's very gray and apparently it's going to be raining all day today so hopefully i'll dodge the showers so i thought i would start it here i've got loads of different things to show you during this vlog so i hope you enjoy it and i'm off to the charity shops today so i thought i would take you with me and do some filming so i'm just heading into great yarmouth and i'm going to try and go to quite a lot of charity shops i'm looking for nautical coastal decor for the home home decor um but then sometimes when you're looking for things you don't find them but you find other treasure so yeah i will film where i can and if i find any lovely things i'll show you them along the way let's head into great yarmouth and see if the charity shops have any bargains so i've just got parked for an hour for free and there's a few along here so i'm just going to pop into the various charity shops I didn't find anything in that charity shop, so I'm going to have a look in the Salvation Army and then pop over the road to St Elizabeth Hospice. I'm just looking in the window. And I didn't find anything just now, so I'm going to try my luck in here. And I'm going to start off looking on this rail because everything's been uh, reduced to a pound. And I found quite a few dresses for a pound in here, actually, over the last couple of years. So I'll have a good look along this rail. Let's have a look at the back. See if there's any home items. What's that in there? And I found a couple of things in the hospice shop, um, which I'll show you in the car. And I'm now going to go into Age UK. And I always look at the dresses when I come in here. There's a lovely monsoon dress and it's only 2 99 It's really hard. For some reason, my phone keeps strobing in, um, when I'm trying to film. So I'll do as much as I can, but it keeps kind of flashing because the lights are on. But yeah, there's a lovely dress, but it's not for me, but it's a right bargain. So I just found a couple of lovely bits in... Um, age uk which I'll, i'm actually going to show you in the car do a haul as well and i'm going to go to scope over there if you can see it just down there the scope just check there's no cars coming i'm across the road and going to scope yeah so every time i try and film in the charity shops it um starts kind of flashing which is really annoying because i want to film inside but hopefully the lights will be off in here or have less stroby strobing going on I'm gonna have a good look at the dresses and then I'm gonna to go to the back and have a look at the um actually no I'm gonna to go to the house decor first the housey section and then I'll do dresses let's look over here and there's some nice baskets down there they're three pounds each but they're a little bit worn but I do like them but they're a little bit um yeah worn on the corners and things Just gone. The lights have actually gone out, so I can um, I can start filming now, and it's not flashing. But these are the baskets. But yeah, they're just a little bit worn. Jane, the, the lights are all just blown. They have, the lights have blown, okay, but it's good for me <laughs> because um, yeah, it was really flashing again. I don't know why it's doing that today. I don't know. I feel like I should get these and maybe mend them a bit. What do you reckon? Hmm. I suppose they could go in the greenhouse if not, or somewhere under a shelf or something. I don't know, they're only three pounds each. I think I'm gonna get them and try and sort of tidy them up a bit maybe. I'll just see what else we've got here. It's a nice magazine rack there. There we go. Lights are back on. <laughs> I'm gonna get those baskets and just have a little look at the dresses. Lovely. Mm. 
and I've just come to the retail park in Great Yarmouth and there's a massive charity shop, a massive Cancer Research UK. So we'll have a little look around there. And this is gonna be my final charity shop of the morning. The weather is about to, well, it looks like it's about to rain. Um, so I'm gonna quickly dash inside and have a look around. I've got the lovely baskets, as you can see. Well, it. Then they're nearly lovely. They're just a few bits that need sticking down and repairing. But they're going to be, I'm going to put those in our new, not new loo. We're doing up our downstairs toilet and I bought a second hand wardrobe, which I'll show you actually. And they're going to go on top of it. I think they'll look quite nice on top. So that's what they're for, maybe full of loo rolls and things. So I thought that was a good buy. Um, right, so I'll go into the last charity shop. I'll do a quick bit of vlogging in there, as long as it's not, um, you know, the lights aren't flashing and then I will show you what I bought so as you can see it's about to I think it's just about to rain the clouds are getting quite dark so let's have a look in here for the final charity shop of today I really like this one and I found quite a lot of um lovely clothes and home decor and they've moved the home decor actually around to this corner which is great so you just walk straight in and see everything they have look at that lamp that's different, isn't it? How much is that? 20 pounds. That's nice. And there's no um, strobing in this one. It's a nice jug. Absolutely massive this shop. It's huge. I need to go to ones in Norwich at some point. Oh, that's sweet. There's quite a few in Norwich I haven't been to since last year. So it'd be good to um to go there. Nice bread bin. Some these are quite handy, aren't they, for like lasagna and stuff. This is what's an IKEA one. Might actually get that. That one looks good too. Yeah, I can get this one. Good for two quid. I think I've got one like that. Princess. <laughs> What's that? What is this? Put the dish down there. Oh, okay, that's a picture. I thought that was part of that. What is this? It's a little picture. It's quite nice. Is that for a bathroom? Is that something for paperwork? Quite like that actually. Wilco's bamboo bamboo in tray. Oh, so that's for an office, so you put all your paperwork in. I'm going to get that for Lee, I think. He'll like that for our home office. Hello. Look at that face. That is a face. I think my dad can pull that face. Oh, that's pretty. That one. Oh, 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 oh. It's a Jeff Banks one, I think, from Home Bargains. So I've had a look all through the homeware and I found Toby a little book that I think he's gonna love. And I'm gonna check through all the, oh, it's jazzy, all the dresses as well see what's here i did come in here last week but it's quite a big um shop obviously so they'll get new things all the time slightly funny shape that one it's got pockets right let's start here and have a look and i've just finished charity shopping i've had a lovely morning it is 10 past 12 and i'm just going to show you the things that i found um from the charity shops but something weird just happened so i came out of cancer research and uh I went to get in my car, but it wasn't my car, but I opened it. I was like, burp, and then, you know, with your key thing, 
um, I don't know if it did anything and I opened the back seat to put the door to put my things in and it wasn't my car it was exactly the same same color same model um, but it wasn't my car there was like a kid's seat in it and loads of things I was like huh what's happened to my car and then I was like it's not your car you, you wally you've just opened someone else's car so I was like oh I've opened someone's car and then I was like talking to myself like I was crazy like I got it. and then um I saw someone I knew and I was like, I just opened this car and it wasn't my car. It was all really strange. And then I was like, they've left their car unlocked unless my boop opened their car. So yeah, that just happened. Um, <laughs> and then I found my car. I was a little bit further down. Um, so that was really weird. So I hope, I, hope, um, I hope they get back and lock their car. Right, so I'm going to show you what I bought. So just now in Cancer Research UK, I got a couple of lovely things. I almost didn't see this. You know, sometimes you're in charity shops and you miss things. And then when I'm editing a video, I, I see them and go oh I missed that so at the corner of my eye I spotted this beautiful mug I think it's Marks and Spencer yeah it's M&S fine bone china and it's got these peacocks they're peacocks aren't they and like beautiful tulips so how lovely is that and it was only a pound and I haven't done a mug of the day I got Toby a little football book so this is just full of funny football facts it just says footy notes the ultimate ultimate countdown of footy trivia this was 50p and then i got lee the thing that i showed you install this bamboo tray thing like for paperwork i got this in the end that was two pounds um it had two stickers and she said oh i can give it to you for two pounds so i said well thank you very much so yeah i got that for two pounds really beautiful um vase and then i got a very posh vase thing and I thought, oh, that looks really posh. And I think I've seen something like this on Ewan's, um, Ewan's channel recently. And I thought, oh, that looks lovely. And I looked on the bottom because it's kind of, sorry, it's a bit bright. It's, it's shining up a bit. As you can see there, it's it's got that kind of design on it. And then um, it's a Wedgwood. It's a Wedgwood, darling. It says Wedgwood made in England. March, Mar 62. I don't know if that is March. It's just some, oh, I'll show you in a second. It says of F T R U R I A and something. I'll show you the bottom. So if you know what any of that means, let me know. But I thought well, that looked really posh. I was going to get it anywhere. Then I saw that it was a Wedgwood. I thought, oh, a Wedgwood, that's got to be good. So that was two quid, the IKEA Pyrex dish thing. I got a dress for a pound from East Coast Hospice. This was reduced from four pounds. It's a fat face dress, size 14, and it's just really nice. I love these dresses. It's really lovely um, material. So yeah, looks really good, in really good condition. That'd be perfect for the summer. It's got a tie at the back as well, which is always good. And then the last thing to show you, oh yeah, this is a present for Ewan. I don't know if you can see that, but it was two pounds for these two like things of bobbles. It's just strings of little, like pom-pom things it's really soft so it's like little mini clouds so there's loads of it there and some dusky pink color and i thought ewan would probably love that he could do something really nice you know at some point and if he doesn't he could always uh, pass it on if he wants but i'll save that for you ewan hi if you're watching mr carrington so that is my haul from today i hope you enjoyed it and like looking around the charity shops and let me know your favorite item in this haul i love it all but i think the wedgwood wedgwood thing the Wedgwood, darling, the Wedgwood vase. Although it's cold and stuff today, it's been raining and uh, I'm boiling. I'm starting to sweat. So I'm going to go and I will speak to you when I get home because I want to do my, um, I've got a haul from the range to show you and I want to show you our new patio as well. So that is all coming up next on this vlog, but I hope you're enjoying it so far. I've just got home and I think I forgot to tell you the price of the Wedgwood vase thing. It was £3.99. And I've put the little storage baskets on top of this wardrobe. So this is in our downstairs toilet and we're currently um, renovating this room. So it's not quite finished. I have put some pictures on Instagram, but obviously it needs quite a bit doing to it. Um, but most of it's done. It's nearly done. Um, so I will show you when it's all completely finished. But um, yeah, this wardrobe, we got this from, it was either Gumtree or eBay and it was £70 and it's a lovely sturdy one and i really like that detail the little um the little key inside uh it's quite big it's got a hanging rail but we're going to put shelves in here um i'll probably paint over that wallpaper as well um so yeah we'll just have shelves in here toby was playing hide and seek and broke this shelf at the bottom because he jumped on it but it's fine because we need to put loads of shelves across there and then fill that up with towels and bedding once we've got the um 
shelves in. I'm going to paint this white as well, either white or grey, but I think maybe nice bright white. I'm not sure. And then the little baskets are on top and I think they look lovely. I love that natural kind of sea grass. I really love it. So we can put blue rolls and things in there. Um, so I think that'll complement it quite nicely. Or if I find three, I can always turn them that way. Oh, oh, hang on. Do you know what I mean? Like that way. So I could have three little boxes, three baskets along there. Uh, but they will do for now. So I just thought I'd show you where I, I got them for. I know it's quite interesting to see where things end up. It's the next day now, it's Thursday morning, the 26th of May, and it's about quarter past nine, and it's finally stopped raining, so I can show you the patio. Yay, the brand new patio, but before I do that, I think it's time, um, time for a sit. Do you want a gravy bone? Where's he gonna go? Bessie just come out to see what's going on. He's up, oh, he's on the table. He's on the move and it's been raining for, I don't know, it feels like two weeks. Um, so I haven't really been outside, but today is a lovely look at the blue skies. It says it's going to rain later, but I really hope not. Hopefully it'll stay nice for the weekend as well. These little butterflies here, just in case someone asked about them, I got these probably a few weeks ago, maybe, maybe a month ago. They're little like ceramic butterflies and they're from Asda and I think they were six pounds or five pounds for the three. And I put them there and I just think they look really pretty. So whenever I see them, they make me smile. I've just made myself a coffee in my bee mug from Home Bargains. So I'm gonna have that in a second after I've just shown you the patio. It used to be really small. There was just a tiny section in that corner. There are some before and after and during photos on my Instagram house account. That's Kate's Homely Home, which I'll link in the description box just below. Um, so yeah, let me show you the patio. I'm gonna step back to, onto the grass although it's quite wet because it's been raining. So here it is. It's not completely perfect. It's not um, totally finished, as you can see. It's a little bit rough around the edges. And then we're building a path along there. Building or laying a path with the bricks that were, um, that were along here. So nothing is being wasted. We're just gonna do another little path. Oh, there's Rufus barking at the seagulls along there. So you can kind of walk around the garden without stepping on the grass, which would be lovely. So here it is. It's really nice and, and big. And I'm so happy with it. I absolutely love it. Sorry, it's a bit, um, I need a brush to sweep all the bits because it's been really stormy. The weather's been rubbish here, so stuff has blown on it. And I just want to show you my amazing um, garden furniture over here, which you might have already seen on Instagram. I was given this as a PR sample, it's a PR product from Moda Furnishings. And um, I've been working with them, I think since about March over on Instagram. So you might have already seen it there. And uh, yeah, so they let me choose a set and I chose this lovely one. Oh, there's a little feather there underneath. Just get little feathers, get everywhere, don't they? Um, yeah, so I chose this beautiful one. I love the color. It's, it's called Natural, Natural Rattan. And I will link it in the description in case you're interested. So thank you very much to everyone at Moda Furnishings. It's been a pleasure to work with them. And I love that, that's the poshest thing. I own, maybe the boshest thing I'll ever own. I absolutely love it. We've got our log burner over here, which we've had for years actually. Had this since our old house. So we've probably had it for about eight or nine or 10 years, I think. And um, it's quite rusty, but I like how it's gone rusty. And we had a little fire out here the other day. And um, yes, yeah, so it was nice just sitting here when it was, the weather was okay for about 10 minutes. So that's the patio. Oh, I'll just tell you a bit more about the bricks actually, and then I'll show you the flowers. So these are, um, I think they're called Autumn. We got them at Silverton's uh, paving building thing in Great Yarmouth. And we had the bricks laid in a herringbone style because the rest of our paths are the same. So we thought we'd continue on. And I love herringbone. We've got it in our the same pattern in our downstairs and most of our floors, apart from the original tiles. And then around the border, we just went for just like a two, brick border going round just to finish it off nicely and I thought I'd go for these because our house is kind of different colour bricks so you've got some more yellowy um, bricks here and then you've got red so I thought I would get the autumn ones to pull it all in um, and I think it works really well it's hard choosing patios and stuff because you don't really know what you're doing and then once it's down you know you're kind of stuck with it so I'm very happy with it I love having this area to just come outside and then we can just sit here right shall I show you the plants okay um so over here I've got these lovely little what are they called pansies is that what they're called or a different version of them and these have done really well I just plonked a couple of them in here and um 
Yeah, they look so pretty, don't they? And then this is, I've forgotten its name, but I think there's more of these coming back. Hopefully they will flower again. I think they are, I think these are on their way actually. They look, um, they don't look that pretty. Oh, I'll just, I'll deadhead this one. Um, but I think they're about to bloom, I hope so anyway. And then I've got my little Hebe bush thing I need to plant. I think this is called a ren ranunculus. Um, <laughs> that appears to be doing quite well. This is so pretty. One of these was absolutely massive. So I think they're gorgeous and they kind of just grow straight. They're quite funny. Some geraniums are growing, little um, hedges. They will go in the borders somewhere once we've tidied it up. Hanging basket, which I need to actually hang up. Some geraniums. I've got my rose trees. So these were actually really small. They're from B&M. And so were the, um, these containers. I love them. And that's doing really well. So it was about this big, I think, when I got it. So about a third of the size. And I think these are going to be peach roses. Hope so anyway, that's what I bought. Um, so hopefully they'll do well. Got a little rose here that keeps popping up and um, doing well, which is unbelievable because it's been in the greenhouse and it's kind of just been moved here and there and it's just still looking lovely. This was actually a gift, this little rose, from um, my mum's carers from a few years ago. And I just love the fact it's still here and it's still like, still growing. I probably need to put it in a better pot because it's just been in this teapot, but it seems to like it. I got these little Acer trees, I think that's what they're called. They were from Lidl and I need to pop them in a big, a nice big pot and then maybe put them in the front. I'm not sure, but yeah, I need to kind of pot them soon, I think. I just planted that yesterday just to help it because I think it wasn't doing very well. So I've just shoved it in there for now. Um, and there's some more pansies, another hanging basket on the way. And these were a present from Lee for, I think it was for Mother's Day or my birthday. And there's two of them, but we need to actually plant them. The citrus trees are doing well. They were from Lidl as well. And um, they seem to be quite happy. I don't know if any more little fruits have grown. Yeah, but they're happy. And then just some olive trees. Look at the hanging baskets though. I'm very, very proud of these. They're just from um, B&M. And I think I did show them before, didn't I? I'm just pulling some of these off, the little dead heady things. Some shrubs. Oh, these are the, oh, what are they called? There's two of them. They're rhododendrons, that's the word I was looking for. And they're such a lovely pale pink. Like they um, looked like they were gonna be bright pink and they just bloomed. And they're this gorgeous kind of white with a hint of pink. So hopefully I'll have more flowers here and over in the corner. It seems to be quite liking this spot here. And then another one of these hedges and a hanging basket again, doing really well. So I hope you enjoyed my patio reveal, patio update, flower update. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying gardening, which is something I never thought I would say, but over, you know, since the first lockdown, I just love pottering about and um, looking at these flowers. I don't, I don't know why, I just love it. So should we go in Rufus? And I'm now going to show you everything that I bought in the range a few weeks ago. So I went with my friend Kelly and we had a really good look around. We were in there for about two hours. We were in there for such a long time because I hadn't been there for so long. It was just great having, you know, a mooch around and just staring at everything. So I really enjoyed it. I did Rufus. So this is everything that I picked up and I will show you in more detail and I'll let you know the prices. And I've just got to say hello to Juliet who um, works at the range in Norwich and she watches my videos and um, we had a lovely chat. So thank you Juliet for saying hi and it was really nice to meet you and hopefully I'll see you again in there soon because yeah, I do love having a little rummage around the range. Right, so let me start off over here. I got this for Toby so he can have his like breakfast and stuff and um, if he has snacks and milk and things. So I thought this could go in the snug room. <laughs> Hello, Rufus. It's a industrial folding table. I thought this would be more expensive. So that's what it looks like. Um, this was actually 15 pounds. <laughs> Rufus, I'm just gonna turn it over. Rufus wants, okay. Oh, Rufus. Let me turn it over so you can see it the other way. Oh, it's quite heavy. So this is the other side. It's got metal legs and I'm sure that just goes together really easily. So yeah, I've got him. It's like a butler tray thing, isn't it? a butler tray table so one of those are 15 pounds i got two more of these eucalyptus garland things i think these look great well i put them on like chandeliers and then i put them on the table and mantelpiece and they just kind of go everywhere i might even put some outside so these are i think they're 8.99 each i got two of them and kelly got a few as well i got a little coastal print i think that was 5.99 it's really sweet and i love the colors so that might go 
I'm not sure yet, but it'll go somewhere. And then I got a doorstop that's like a rope ball. So that's quite coastal as well. That was, I think that was $6.99. Does it say on here? Yeah, $6.99 there. And then I got um, this diffuser. So this is Coastal Retreat Home Fragrance Diffuser. I don't know what it smells like, but I really like the look of it. So I thought I would try it. And I don't know how much that was. Maybe it was six, eight or ten pounds. I'm not sure, but I got one of those. And then look how amazing these big jug things are. So one of them was, I think it was eight ninety nine. If I've got any of these prices wrong, I do apologise. Um, and then if you do know the price, just um, write it in the comments if I've got them wrong. But they were really reasonable. So I think that was like eight ninety nine for that one or nine ninety nine. And it's just, they're just beautiful. They're just so well made and such a good price. And then I got the larger one as well. And I think, I don't know, it's a couple of pounds more, I think. So maybe like $13.99. I'm not sure, but I love them both. They look so nice together. And I think these are going to go in this room. So I'm currently in the blue living room. Um, and I think they'll look really nice. I just need to find something to go in them. Some big high, I don't know, eucalyptus or something. And then my final things I'm going to show you are these lovely doormats. I'll just stand up. So I've got three doormats. These were five pounds each, which I think is such a good price. And home is written in cork which i really like so i'll definitely get the um mud off your shoes as well so five pounds for that one and then five pounds each for these two so this is a pvc backed geometric quark i don't know how to say that mat um and that's 40 times 70 and what was this one it's slightly bigger 40 no same it just looks a bit bigger for some reason and i got two of these i really like them so i'll put one at the front one at the back um yeah, so I got two of those. Love them. And they just feel like such a good quality. I love this. This is cork in this one as well. I love that. I love how it looks. So, yeah, that's everything from the range. So I hope you enjoyed the haul. And I just love these. So when I've worked out how to style them and what to put in them, I'll probably put a picture on over on Instagram. Really like them together, actually. They look like something you could have found in the olden days. I love them. They kind of crackled as well. When you look close, they're not perfect which I really like. Hello again. So I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you enjoyed it and liked, um, you know, seeing around the charity shops and what else do we do? The patio, um, the new cupboard in the loo, the hall from the range, and of course, Rufus and Vesti. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, then please do, as I'd really appreciate it. And I'll link my previous couple of videos as well. So there was a Poundland haul and come shopping with me. And as you might have seen, it was a sponsored video. Poundland sponsored me to do that video, which is just unbelievable. I was so happy. And I'll also link the Trash to Treasure furniture video in the description box as well. Um, and I want to do more like that. I really enjoy doing it. And I think people enjoyed watching it. So I shall do more of those as well. Um, so that'll be linked below with my Instagram as well. Um, Kate McCabe and Kate's Homely Home on Instagram. So come and say hello on there. And you will see more photos of the toilet, the downstairs toilet, before and after and the patio as well. So it's on the highlight bit. So you if you have a look on my house Instagram, click on the highlights. You can kind of see the before and afters if you want some more, you know, some more information on it. Not information, but if you want to see more, you can have a look on Instagram. So have a lovely weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being there. I really appreciate it. And I think next week I'm going to do a charity shop haul because I found some um, more lovely things as well. So I'll be showing you those next week. But I'm actually going to go and donate a load of things. I've got them sitting over there to the charity shop because I'm trying to donate as much as I bring in so that I don't get overwhelmed with all the stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna to take a load of things to the charity shop. Um, yeah, put them in there this afternoon. The time is, oh, it's half past 10. So I'm gonna go and have some breakfast and I'll speak to you in a week. Take care, see you soon, bye-bye.